Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel guys. Thank you so much for coming to view. Thank you so much. I deeply appreciate all your beautiful comments guys. You're amazing and I thank you deeply for that. Thank you for hitting the like button and for subscribing to those of you that haven't. I welcome you here. Please do so. I'd love to have you aboard here. Let's talk about the soulmates in separation, what is the current energies? What does the collective need to be made aware of, either with their soulmate or themselves? Spirit, what about the collective energy? What is the information that you would like to relay to the collective energy concerning these soulmates in separation? Current energy, please, Spirit, what somebody trying to force somebody stepping into a new experience uh-huh there's force energy somebody is trying to force someone to do something against their will forcing them into um a new experience someone new is entering your life stepping up your efforts if you want to achieve your goals what is going on somebody force somebody to do something against their will yeah there is a disappointment in a friend or a lover someone felt they're trying to make somebody do something against their will or your will. What is the hell? Someone new entering your life. What is this about? <sighs> Could be someone with the zodiac sign of August is important here. Or something happened or transpired in August. Either this August or any August. Hmm. What's going on? Someone very shrewd and resourceful. Especially in business. What's going on here? Tiger energy, doing something risky, taking a chance. Something to do with a career. Taking a chance on a career. So somebody's going to have to get back to the basics here. In August, somebody tried to force somebody into doing something that they really didn't want to do. And this is a very shrewd person. I don't know what's going on here. Time to bail. There was an angel telling you to get out of a situation. Maybe because your angels knew that somebody else was stepping into a new experience. I don't know. I want clarification on this forcing someone to do something against their will. What does this mean, forcing someone to do something against their will? What does this mean, forcing someone to do something against their will? Who forced this person to do anything? <coughs> someone being shrewd. <coughs> My throat chakra closed up right when I said that. As soon as the Seven of Swords come out. Mm. 
this is <coughs> Gemini energy. Oh my God. Hang on, guys. My throat literally shut so tight I could barely breathe. This is someone on the job or someone being very, very shrewd. Somebody tried to force somebody to do something against their will. Who is this? What does this mean? I'm going to bring it right out. What does this club card mean? Someone trying to make you do something against your will. Who is this and what did they do? King of Wands. Communicating. Hearing of a death or hearing of an ending or causing an ending. What is this? Who tried to force who into what? Could have been about their job, about their career. Somebody is trying to force this person on the job or blackmailing somebody or trying to be shrewd. Who tried to force who to do what? What does this club card mean, spirit? Someone was manipulating someone. Someone was forcing someone to do... Trying to trap somebody. Trying to keep some an angel from being single. The guardian angel card was here. So somebody was actually being protected. Uh, somebody was pulling the wool over someone's eyes. And this angel said, I better be sing single. I'm listening to my angels. There's something funny going on here. Somebody's trying to force me into making a decision foolishly. Something to do with work. Being denied work? Blocking someone from work? Oh my God. The devil is blocking an angel, or the angel was blocking a devil. Oh. Huh. It's deceiving a devil. A devil was deceiving an angel here. That's why s spirit blocked this relationship. There was somebody very deceptive working against an angel. And it could have been on the job.
pulling the wool over someone's eyes. And this angel said, you know what? You are not going to devil affect my angel. Somebody was trying to force somebody into doing something that they did not want to do. Jesus. Someone was being very, very shrewd. I don't know. This could be an employer. This could be the boss. This could be somebody who owns their own business. Somebody forcing somebody to give up an angel. Blocking. Stuck energy. It's too many masculines here. This is like an employer. You had a guardian angel looking out for you. Whatever happened, you maybe it's your own boss. <laughs> just saying or this person's boss knew a lot more than that was going on behind the scenes this is someone very shrewd in business they are no dummy when it comes to business they are not foolish they are not risk takers someone is forcing this person to do something against their will that they didn't really want to do but Somebody forced them to do something that they didn't want to do. It's to do with business. So it's like they knew you were their soulmate. Okay? They knew. That's what their choice was. You. But somebody forced them to do something that they did not want to do. It could be to do with a partner forcing them. They didn't want to do it. It's a business partnership. Someone shrewd in business. Hmm. Uh-huh. So they broke your heart. It's about the job. It's about career. It's about somebody forced them to do something that they did not want to do. They went against their intuition. They went against... This is the job. This is someone on the job. Somebody might have been blackmailing somebody. Somebody's boss may have known what this person was up to. Had them over a barrel somehow. This could be a business partner of this person's. Tried to force them into doing something that they didn't want to do. Career. Career is here.
This is weird energy. It's like you had a guardian angel telling you, you better get out of this situation. This angel said, you better get out of this situation. Because you're going to have a disappointment with a friend or a lover. Now, they did something risky on the job. It's to do with their career. Someone who's very shrewd in business. So, this little karmic may have worked with your person, had some dirt over their head, threatening to expose them if they did not do what they asked them to do. This person knew that you were their partner, knew that you were their soulmate, but this one wanted the position. Somebody wanted to fill that role, your role. Started something on the job here. Somebody's boss knew what they were doing. Or somebody on the job knew what they were doing. And this person took a risk and made them do something that they really didn't want to do. Clarify this. Oh, well, let's see with these cards, if I can get anything. What's going on here for these soulmates and separation? I just know that you were told to get out of this situation. They may have met somebody on the job, might have been dealing with somebody who they worked with, but it was all a plan of to fill your role. This karmic wanted your position either on the job or with this person. But they felt forced into it. They felt forced into it. While well, you're being helped to heal, the best is yet to be. Yeah. I think you... Oh, Jesus. So somebody wants forgiveness. Okay. Hang on. It's the current energy. You're living in the now. You are feeding your creativity and you're laser focused on what you want. Make a decision. I think you have. What is this forcing this person to do what they didn't want to do? What's against their will? Anger. What's against their will? What was against their will? Loneliness. Sometimes you just need a break in a beautiful place alone to figure everything out uh, 
opposites can attract. The elderly. To forget the elderly is to ignore the wisdom of the years. Pluto, I break down the old and build anew. So there's no question in my mind that you were guided by your ancestors to get out of this situation. I think this person felt like, what is this? Being forced to do something against their will. What is this? Destruction. Because this person was ignoring you because they were investing in another lover. Checking out their options. And I think you were looking for stability. I think that you were... No. This person was planning to commit to you. This person was planning to marry you. Until they got some kind of news about money. Third party interference, I'm telling you right now. They felt forced into breaking your heart. This person got some news and they felt like they were being forced into breaking your heart. Why? What is this news? Because they were planning to commit. This could be an employer. This could be. It is. It's. Someone overhearing something. Something was about to become public or something about their family would have become public somehow. Children. Or family forcing them to do something that they didn't want to do this person wanted to uh, to commit to you but someone saw them doing something they shouldn't have been doing somebody saw them um, Somebody saw them cheating. Somebody saw.
It could have been their boss. It could have been their employer watching them cheat on you. Watching them lie. Knew that they were lying. Forced them. Psh. Either you tell her or tell them or I'm gonna. It could have been someone in their own family. Knew that they were cheating. Somebody could have beat them over the head, literally. What are you doing? What the hell are you doing to the collective energy? What are you doing? Why are you cheating on them? They were juggling you. And they were being a fool. This person was being manipulated and somebody had to stop them. Hmm. Someone, either their boss or their partner, business partner, or someone close to them knew what they were doing, knew that they were cheating, said, stop. You will not hurt this earth angel. Whoa, do you see that, guys? That's the truth. That's an affirmation. Someone's trying to get our attention here. So maybe you had an angel behind the scenes watching what this person was doing. Someone knew what they were doing and it's someone at work. Maybe forced to leave a job because of their deception and they're angry about it. Uh, it's their employer who knew what they were doing. They might have been forced off the job. The employer knew what they were doing. Maybe it's time theft. Maybe it's um, knew that they were cheating on you, knew that they were with you, and maybe it's a bad example for the company. I don't know. Somebody had a guardian angel looking out for them. When you bailed out of this situation, they were being threatened on the job somehow, like their employer knew what they were doing. That's why they pushed you away. Somebody told them to push you away. They were holding on to this. Blocked off their emotions. Became fearful of the judge of justice. Too afraid to tell you the truth. Somebody was jealous and hurt and felt betrayed. This is gossip and rumors. Oh, they might have been forced off their job. You know what I mean? Forced out of, maybe you were forced off the job. Maybe whatever this person, somebody had dirt on this person on the job, had pictures or, or proof or evidence that somebody was fooling around or cheating like that. People started talking about it, gossiping. This could have been their supervisor who was became overwhelmed. <clears throat> 
this person's characteristics on the job is what why they could have been forced off the job. Either you leave or you're getting fired. Because they're causing too much drama on the job. I don't know if it's their ex-wife. I don't know who it is. But they started spreading a bunch of rumors and gossip. A supervisor is tired of all this bullshit. It, it, it's old. Becoming very old quick. I don't need your headaches. We don't need your bullshit here. Pack your bags and get out. It's drama on the job. Workplace drama. Maybe this person lost their job and they didn't want to tell you. Maybe they were being forced to get out of a job and they didn't want to tell you. And it was easier for them. Well, they were caught cheating somehow. Okay? Their boss knew it. Their supervisor knew it. Maybe they were gossiped off the job. You know what I mean? Whatever they did, they felt forced into doing something that they didn't want to do. And that very well could have been a boss. Look, you're a good worker, but we can't have this bullshit, this drama going on all the time. I'm so tired of this. Your person was up to no good. And were creating trouble on the job somehow. They were forced to leave. Maybe a company. Someone knew what they were doing. Someone knew that they were cheating. Someone knew that they were lying. It's like bad PR going on here. Public relations being involved and everything. Too much drama. You're too much trouble here. You're a troublemaker. They were forced to leave a job or forced to leave a company or something and they didn't tell you. Maybe whatever they did, this supervisor started making things difficult for them. Started making things like making them work extra hard, giving them all the shitty jobs. Because this supervisor knew what they were doing behind the scenes. The supervisor had it in for this person. They, were, they may have been forced off the job. Just saying. Because when you air your dirty laundry and when your co-workers know what you're really doing behind the scenes and they go to the bosses and the supervisors and they say what this person's character is like and what they're doing. Nobody likes to cheat. People talk. And I think this person, people started talking about them on the job, what they were doing. That's how I think they were forced into doing something they didn't want to do. I think they were forced out of their position. They were underhanded. Okay? They might have been telling lies to the boss. You know what I mean? And it's just, look, why do we have to spend, this boss is like, why do we have to spend so much time and energy on one employee? Now, either you want to work here or you don't want to work here. But if you work here, we can't have you going around making trouble all the time. I've got all this paperwork to file now. I've got all these grievances against you. Maybe it's, um, you know, people filing grievances against this person. They didn't want to tell you. And I think that they were forced to leave a job. I really do.
and I think it set off a a continual oh I better get a new girlfriend then or I better get a new boyfriend then I've got no job I've got no this I've got no that I need to get a new job but they were cheating they were dealing with others they had a lot of options okay and everybody knew that they did Plus dealing with you. People on their job knew about it. People at work knew that this person had options. Okay? Knew that this person was cheating on the job. They might have been cheating with someone right on the job. Hell, they could have been cheating with the freaking boss. Boss is like, hmm, I'll make life hell for you now. Oh, you have other options. If they went and screwed the boss, yeah, I kind of think that the boss is going to get rid of them. And maybe this person had to end things with you because they couldn't tell you what they had been up to. Somebody forced their hand. Yes, they did. That started a series of events that just went like dominoes. They're just always partying. Maybe they were drinking. Maybe people saw them doing something. I don't know. Saw them doing something that they're sorry that they did now. I know that. Maybe it's jealousy. Deception. Acting like they don't care if they get caught. Well, somebody caught them. Tell me more. Controlling. Manipulating. Manipulating who? You. You. You knew the truth, and they were trying to keep you from knowing the truth. But something was becoming public, and they made a choice that hung their own neck. And it is someone else. Someone else. And what they were saying. It could have been someone they used to live with or someone that they uh, made promises to, okay? Mm, I don't know. And then your person is stressed the frick out, man, with whatever, with this other lover. Like, what did I do? It was all based on ego. It's a controlling lover, I'm telling you right now, who had shit on this person. They were depressed to end things with you. They felt they had no choice. People were judging them. They were trying to avoid judgment. Karmic energies. Addictions. Maybe they were trying to keep some kind of habit of theirs from coming out. Maybe, like I said, maybe they were screwing the wrong person. Maybe they picked the wrong person to... To screw around with. Maybe they got somebody pregnant. Somebody learnt about this or heard about it. And this person was forced to leave somewhere. Here's your bag. Here's your final pay. Get out. Your job is done here. 
Rumors. Too many rumors. Too much gossip. You're making trouble on the job. It is on the job. There's embarrassment. A regret. Sadness. Burdens. Mm. Baggage. Don't bring your baggage to the job. That's what this person did. Maybe their ex-wife, maybe their ex-girlfriend had a vendetta against them. Started talking about them on the job, to their co-workers, to this person, that person, the other person. The boss says, I can't fucking deal with this. Because you were their soulmate. <clears throat> This news hurt them. Whatever they heard. And it could have been about an ex-wife. Okay? Spreading rumors on the job. Gossiping on the job. Talking to their supervisors. Talking to their co-workers. Setting them up for failure. I don't know. But they promised this person to change. Because they were broke. So they may have gone back to someone from their past because they may have lost their job. They may have been broke and they were having like sex with an ex or an ex-girlfriend but they were having sex with more than one here and somebody found out about it. But they made this decision based upon finances. Maybe they were broke. And maybe they tried to reconnect with someone from their past due to financial reasons. They have financial resources. It's just this person hung their own neck is what they did. Yep. Tower. Locked. Justice. This emperor felt forced due to reputation, due to people's talking, people gossiping, they felt forced to go leave you and go in another direction. It had, they felt forced. They felt they had no other option. And they're angry about it. They're angry that they hurt you. They're angry. But they were a player. And they were a fool. And they were keeping secrets. Had a secret mistress. You know what I mean? And I think the boss figured it out. Whoever, Maybe they screwed a boss. Like I said. And they were worrying about their money. And I don't think you trusted this person because they were giving, spending really little time with you and you walked away. This is family. Selfishness. Maybe drinking. I don't know. Putting fear in their head. Trapping them. It was planned. Cheating at work. I'm telling you, they were cheating at 
work. So to redeem themselves, they might have put all the fucking blame on you. Just saying. And if they did, that's why they're getting their karma. Oh, they might have blamed you for everything. Oh, this happened. Oh, my girlfriend's boyfriend's doing this. Oh, they made me do it. They made me crazy. They made me this. I'm so messed up from this situation. They used you as an excuse. For them being the way that they are. That's why they're under judgment. And that's why they're stuck in judgment. Mm. Just block communication with you. lonely. This person don't know how to be alone. So they were cheating with people on the job and I think it caught up with them. They might have been dealing with several people at work. And then you know how people talk and well I saw so and so with so and so. Well I thought they were dating so and so. Well it caught up to them. Their bullshit caught up to them. And it it's all exploding in their face. It keeps coming out. Their past is catching up to them. That's what this is. Their past is catching up to them. You know, people know this person. I mean, God, give me a break. And it's like... Something to do with a car or moving. They were making it offers and they were cheating. Maybe somebody saw them on the job. I don't know what they do for a living. Maybe they're a driver. Maybe they operate equipment. Or maybe they operate some kind of large vehicle or something like that. And somebody saw them cheating. Okay? You know how people are. Oh, shock. Surprise them. Maybe they caught them in the act. I don't know. Maybe somebody took a picture of them. Maybe somebody had proof and evidence. You know, oh, you're supposed to be working, huh? Well, why are you over here? You know what I mean? Maybe there was photo evidence or proof of them doing whatever. You're, you're out of here. Your job is done. They felt forced into it. They felt forced to leave the job. Why? Maybe they weren't. Maybe they physically had to remove them from where they were at. And maybe this freaking lover of theirs set it all up. So they would not have a job. So they would have to move in with them. They should have walked away from that other lover. Instead, they worried about their reputation. Because people were gossiping, spreading rumors. 
told you. Nasty. Worried about their reputation. You know what? I wouldn't be shocked at all if they didn't backstab you and make you as the blame for it. Why they were such, oh, well, I was forced into it or whatever. Who cares? These people's energies make me ill. And I think that's why Spirit told you, walk away. Just get out of here. You are actually being protected, guys. That's what this read is saying. No wonder you're supposed to get laser focused and live in the now. Feed your creativity. You are like being divinely guided. Spirit saying the best is yet to be. You made a decision. Yes, it's been a disappointment. But it was time to bail out of that situation. Take care.